Hey guys, Sydney here with another video. Now, 2016 was known as the year of the flagship killers. Flagship killers like the OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3T, the uh, Axon 7. Basically, it made you question yourself, why would you spend 500 to 600 pounds on a phone when you could spend 200 to 300 pounds less on a phone and get about the same experience, same specs pretty much. So in some cases, even better specs. But the thing is, not everyone has 300 to 400 pounds to spend, even if it is really good, a really good deal for what you're getting. Some of us have, let's say, 200 pounds to spend on a smartphone. So what could you get for 200 pounds? That was obviously a rhetorical question. The title kind of gives that away. But anyway, you could get this. The blue Vivo 6 and I'm going to be unboxing it today. Okay, so let's have a look around the box. It's, uh, it's not the best quality box I've ever held in my hand, but it is pretty solid. It feels almost metallic somehow. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a look at the specs of this phone. It has a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display. That's obviously 1080p, 401 PPI, not bad at all. It's got a uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 uh, glass and display. It's got an optical 1.8 gigahertz processor running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's got 4G, 30 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel selfie camera, 64 gigabytes of internal memory. And I believe it also has a micro SD card slot. It's got 4 gigs of RAM and 3130 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty big. It's got a fingerprint sensor and it's 7.6 millimeters thin. Not bad. And it's got a premium metal design. Okay, let's uh, let's get into it. Really, I should have a knife or something for this. It'll go a lot smoother. All right, hindsight, eh? All right. I've had better unboxing experiences than this, but it's 200 pounds what you expect. Okay, up front you have the phone itself. Let's put it to the side for a bit. You also get this, a Type-C to Type-A, I believe, USB adapter. You get a USB-C cable and you get the charging brick, which I believe is a fast charger. And then you get some rather nice looking earphones. Not bad, I wonder what they sound like. We'll find out. And then you get the same eject tool. Some literature that no one's gonna read. You get a case for the phone. Very nice. And I believe a screen protector. Yep, screen protector. This thing that you shouldn't eat. Do not eat, I don't know what it is. Does anyone actually know what this thing is? I don't think anyone knows what that is. And I believe some warranty stick or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what comes in the box now. The phone itself. This is the... Um, the rose gold color. Personally, I think it's the better looking choice between the two. You, you either get the uh, this rose gold or the gold one. I don't think a good one looks very good. First impressions, this phone is surprisingly light. A lot lighter than I was expecting to be for a metal phone of this size. But yeah, let's peel this off. Very nice, very nice. Let's put this back. Mm. Okay, rose gold. I think it's pink. Yeah, that is definitely pink. 
but I still think it's a very good looking phone. It feels pretty solid, I guess, but it's not, it doesn't feel as solid as my HTC 10 or any of the HTC 4s I've used in the past, M7 and the 10. Not even as solid as the Desire HD or even the Sensation that I used. It feels, I don't know, for a metal phone, it feels kind of plasticky, which is amazing, really. I don't know how it accomplishes that, but yeah, it's a metal phone. It doesn't feel cold. It should feel good. I, I, I won't say I'm disappointed for the price. This is all right. It's got this blue thing on the edges. Let's see if I can take it off. No, I, I can't. That is impossible to take off. That is on there. Okay, I give up. But yeah, the blue thing does look pretty cool. Oh yeah, 5.5 inch screen. The bezels are quite respectable. Not too bad. 13 megapixel camera, LED flash, USB-C port. I believe that is the speaker grill. That's the microphone. That's the earpiece for taking calls. The camera and, the, and some sensors on there. It has a uh, screen protector pre-installed. I'll be leaving that on. Oh, yeah, let's put it on. See if it's got any juice in it. Yeah, that's the fingerprint sensor. And I believe these are customizable. You can decide which one you want as back and which one you want as the uh, multitasking button. Volume rock on the side. They feel. They feel okay. They feel okay. The sim. The sim tray on the side and the power button. Let's see if we've got any uh, battery in here to uh, power it on. We have. First impression, the screen seems... Seems pretty bright. I've seen brighter though. Hey, right. again. 200 pound phone. You can't really complain about this. I think I'm being a bit unfair with this because I'm sort of coming from a flagship phone like the HTC 10. So I'm kind of looking at this from that perspective, but I think if I look at this from the perspective of a 200 pound phone, I think this is pretty good. Let's get the setup, yeah. Connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, I forgot my Wi-Fi password is, so I'll, uh, I'll have to do that later. Mm. Vibration on this is quite weak, I think. And the screen feels weird. I think that's because of the screen protector. That's gonna take some getting used to. No, that's good. All right, let's try the fingerprint sensor. First impressions, the screen seems more than sharp enough, I think. It's only 1080p, I say only because I'm used to 2K screens, but it is 1080p and 5.5 inches, which is the same as what the iPhone 7 Plus runs. But yeah, I'll be doing some uh, comparison videos between this and some other flagship phones like the HTC 10 and phones from flagship phones from uh, last year by which i mean 2015 and see how it stacks up because um well the specs on this show that uh it should stack up pretty well yeah we'll find out soon enough that's gonna be it for now <laughs>